Hey guys, Elizabeth here from Plant Based Bride, and I'm back with another Plan With Me video, this time for November. So starting off with my Micron 03 pen, I'm going in on my cover page. For my November cover page, I decided to add a small calendar. This is something that I haven't done before, but I've seen it on other people's cover pages, and I thought it was a fun way to add a little bit more useful information to the cover page instead of just making something artistic with no real purpose. So this is a quick month at a glance so that I can see which day falls on which day of the week. Now, in case you couldn't tell from the title or the thumbnail, November's theme is cats. And this was requested by one of you lovely viewers. If I can find that comment, I believe it was a few Plan With Me videos back, but if I can find it, I will put it up on the screen. Thank you so much for that suggestion. Seeing as I have two lovely kitties at home, Chewy and Yoda, I thought this would be a great theme to do this month. I did a very simple line work drawing of Chewy and Yoda sitting beside each other. Tried to give the impression of the two of them. Chewy's a little bigger and he's also a long hair cat and Yoda's a little bit smaller and has a short hair. Now on to the next page for this month. I decided to do a dedicated to do this month page. I traditionally have done to do this week or this week sections on all of my weekly spreads for weekly to do's, but I actually ended up doing a to do this month spread for October because I realized there were a lot of things that weren't even week specific that just had to get done within the month. So I decided to make that the next page where I could just list all of the tasks that had to be done and also the date that I had assigned them to be done. In the corner there, I did a one line drawing of a cat. This was inspired by a one line cat drawing I saw on Pinterest. If you go into the description box, you will find a link to my Bujo board on Pinterest where I will have all of the images that inspired the artwork for this month's bullet journal. Now I'm on to my monthly spread, keeping it super simple yet again. You may have noticed that some of the lines in my journal are thinner than others. That's because I used two pens primarily in my journal. The first was the Micron 03, which is the one I've had for the longest. And I recently purchased the Micron 005, which is to my knowledge their thinnest tip pen. And I absolutely love it. I love how thin the lines are from this pen. So I'm very happy that I got it. All of the smaller writing or writing that looks thinner is written in the Micron 005. Now moving on to my habits and moods spread, I decided to make the habits one spread and the moods a different spread. So this habit tracker was inspired by something I saw, I believe on Instagram. If I can find that image again of the original idea, I will definitely pin it to my Bujo board. And the moods, I decided to do a graph that tracked not just my moods, but also my sleep to see how my sleep and my moods correlate. So for habits, I decided to do a separate little tracker for each habit. I also did some line work kitties, uh, a sleeping kitty on the habits page, and then my two kitties together, um, Yoda cleaning Chewy as she often does on the moods side. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to fill in each box as I complete the habits or if I'm just going to check them off, make a little X. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Should each of those boxes be colored in completely in black or in a different color or gray maybe? Or should I just put little X's in each box as I complete them? 
at the top of the moods page i did a little legend so the mood tracker will eventually be done in the 03 micron pen so it will be thicker and the sleep tracker will be done in the 005 so it will be thinner so while both of the graph lines will be done in black pen you'll be able to tell the difference when it's all done because the moods line will be a thicker line than the sleep line Moving on to my weekly spread, which is the last spread I'm going to be doing for this month, I decided to follow a similar style as to what I've been doing in the last few weeks of October. If you follow me on Instagram, I'll put my handle up on the screen, you will have seen a little sneak peek of my new style of weekly spread, and I decided to continue with something along that vein for November. I really liked this line work cat face that I did in the corner. Again, inspired by some wonderful artwork on Pinterest, my go-to place for inspiration. As I went along, I decided to add a little bit more interest in a very, very subtle way by using my Tombow brush pen in N95, which is a super, super light gray color to add a little bit of an accent to some of the spreads, just to give a little bit more visual interest. So for anyone who's interested in the fonts in my bullet journal, both the cursive fonts that I used for titles, as well as the fonts used for the larger title numbers. These are both based on fonts that I found on Creative Market. I really love Creative Market for finding cool fonts, but also for font inspiration, for inspiration for how I could change up my writing style. So I'll put on the screen both the cursive font that I was inspired by and that number old timey font that I was inspired by. So you guys can check them out if you're interested. You can buy the fonts from Creative Market or just look at them for inspiration, which is what I did. I'll have the fonts linked below for anyone who's interested. So here's a last once over of my November spreads. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, going with something very simple. I found in October that I loved how minimal and simple my bullet journal was, and I decided to continue in that vein in November, doing a fun sort of quirky theme of cats, but keeping it very elegant and keeping it on function first and design second. As always, I welcome your suggestions for future themes in the comments below. Please let me know what themes you'd like to see from me. Also, as always, please tag me on social media if you recreate any of my spreads. I would love, love to see what you make. You can tag me on Instagram, you can tag me on Twitter. If you want to make sure that I see your spreads, the best way to do it is to actually tag me in the photo on Instagram. That way I won't lose it. And if you do tag me to see your spreads, they may end up in a future plan with me video like these lovely people's spreads, which I will share on the screen. Thank you again for tagging me. I love seeing your recreations and I also love to see how you're inspired by something that I do and change it up and make it even better. For those who are interested along the bottom of the moods, I just alternated between hours of sleep and moods and kept the more hours of sleep and happier moods along the left and the less hours of sleep and the less happy moods on the right because I assume that the more sleep I get, the better my mood will be. And it will be interesting to see if that is actually the case. And that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video if you did and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video.
ไป